Yo, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Amateur Cooking Guy. And y'all saw that thumbnail. Y'all saw that title. We all about to make chicken and waffles slider. This is for the big game on Sunday, your Super Bowl week. Um, so yeah, let's get into the chicken. Already rinsed my chicken off, everything, wash it. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it up. Just to make sure I fill the waffle properly. Again, let me know who y'all rooting for for the game on Sunday. I'll tell y'all I'm going for the um, I'm going for the Bengals. I like Matthew Stafford, but I want to see the young kid Joe Burrow win it. At Jamal Chase. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put this in. That piece ain't cut all the way. Oh yeah, just like that. Now for that, you wanna take some garlic powder. Some onion powder. Some black pepper. Have a pack of sasson. I stung this stuff that I can't say the name of. <laughs> Why forgive me? Yeah, for that, you am gonna go ahead and just rub your seasonings all over the chicken. Always season your meat and season your flour. That's the that's way you get the best taste in chicken. You know, some people just season their flour and then throw their chicken in the inner. You ain't doing nothing to the chicken. You just seasoning the skin. You gotta get that meat. And now that meat is on nice and sauce. You gonna get your buttermilk. You gonna let this sit in buttermilk for about 15 to 20 minutes. Cover it up. And I guess and that's time for our grease to get heated and we'll be back. I'll show y'all why I dropped the chicken in. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see, the chicken is now marinating. Now I'm about to go ahead and um oh I made my flour. And the same ingredients for that she um that she seasoned the meat of your chicken with. You you're gonna use the same seasonings for your own um, for your flour mix too. Well, let me check and see if this grease makes it hot first. We want to check and see if your grease hot. Use like a wooden spoon or a toothpick. And they would. Yup. Grease is done. Hey, make sure you got your own um, your vegetable oil or medium. Medium high. Take this chicken. I got I got the flour in zip my bag too, so I'm gonna go ahead. You gonna take each piece. You gonna put in the flour. And then Take a bag like this and shake and shake your chicken up inside the um, Ziploc bag. These are the freezer Ziploc bags that we have, so just keep shaking it, shaking it. Can y'all hear that? Um, zip. Just keep shaking it, shaking it. You wanna make sure all that flour is cool and get on the chicken. All right, shook up nice. Now I'm about to drop it. I got my first piece. Look at that. 
No, you just don't. You just don't put in the oil nice and stuff. You don't want to cook too many pieces at once. Make sure you got a nice size pan or pot. Or if you got a deep fryer. Get it nice and slow. You want that chicken to get nice and crispy. And remember, it's not chicken wings or legs you cooking. Um, when you're dealing with chicken breasts, you want to make sure this chicken is cooked through all the way. So, find your chicken breasts, it's going to take anywhere, anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, no, 12 to 15 minutes. I'm I don't know why I said 20. About 12 to 15 minutes. Maybe 20 minutes. Um, depending on what kind of pot and pan you're using. And we're going to let that fry up. Fry up. And we'll be back. And I'm back, guys. And look how that chicken frying up. Nice and good. Like I said, it won't take anywhere between 12 to 15 minutes. You got to be real careful with chicken breast. Flip it a few times while I'm cooking. Make sure it's cooked up. <laughs> That's my wife. I don't know if y'all heard her. But flip it a few times. Um, so you don't want one side to get all, um, too dark. You want everything to be nice and golden brown crispy. And you also want to make sure the chicken gets cooked all the way through. Look at that. Look at that season on that chicken. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me show y'all real quick. Come on, get into it. I'm gonna season on that chicken. Y'all make sure y'all season y'all flour really well. So I'm gonna let this continue to cook and we'll be back and we're gonna put on the waffles. Okay, I'm back and the chicken is finished. This is how your chicken should look. Look at that. You hear that sound? See how, that, how brown and crunchy that chicken is? That's uh, exactly how you want your chicken. Now, we're about to do the waffles. We are, we are going to be using Eggo waffles. And they say use the mini ones, but my own grocery store didn't have any mini ones. So, I'm going to use this and cut them down into four squares to make them into the sliders. But if you could find a mini um, waffles, Eggo waffles... Oh, you could do it, or you know, if you got many on um, waffle maker at home, you can make your waffles homemade too. But today, we keep it amateur. Take take some butter. I try to find pound some butter spray pound. They had, they ain't had none. The store's not having nothing. They running out of everything. Uh, I don't get it. So, I'm gonna cook one at a time. You're gonna take this a small piece of butter. Put a smack dab in the middle. You're gonna get a waffle out the box. And you're just gonna put it right there in the middle. Don't have it too high, have it like medium low. And we're gonna cook these one at a time. And I'll be back to show y'all how the waffle should look. Yeah, one more thing. If need be, go ahead and put a little piece of butter on this side too. On the other side, again, brown. You gonna spray your butter around. That's why I like to use a pound. We we'll won't have to undo all this if you have some pound, but you gotta improvise what you got. But if you're cooking for if you're cooking for the game and you make these, please make sure you have your pound. So it'll go nice and easy. I should have used my griddle. I could have made more than one at a time. But I don't just do it this way since I got this out already. So I'm gonna show you how the waffle should look. Yep. 
There you go, good, nice golden brown. Can y'all see that? And the other side should get just like that. So I'm about to cook the other three after this one's done. And again, we'll be back um, to put the whole slider thing together. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is how your waffle should look on the stove. Or if you use your toaster, just make sure it got a crunch to it. And not too much, but I didn't, I didn't want to use my toaster, so I use my pan. Now, put this bad boy to go. Take your one chicken breast, put it on top. Then we're going to take another chicken breast and put it on top. Now, I'll show you. Now, I'll tell y'all the reason I got to do it like this is because I could have found the mini waffles, but. You gotta improvise. You take your knife. Oh yeah, that cut easy. Continue to cut. Make sure you cut them nice and even if you gotta do it like this. Oh, sorry. Got y'all shaking. <laughs> and there you go. Chicken and waffle sliders. Really easy to do. Very simple to make. And everybody at your party. Or if you just want to make it for um, you and your family. Or on a nice chill night. You want to move for some chicken and waffles. It's a fun way to have them too. And there you go. Let me do that on camera for y'all. Be, be careful doing with knives, guys. Easy to mess up. To mess up while you're cutting. Pay attention. Everything should be good. Mm, that chicken smells amazing. That chicken smells good. I wish y'all could smell it. Oops. <laughs> that, that gonna happen that's fine and there you go chicken and waffle <laughs> sliders matter of fact we'll be back i'm gonna plate this so y'all get a better look at these one second okay i'll play it down look at these and guess what chicken and waffles will not be complete about some maple syrup. Only syrup you got on hand. I got some butter syrup. Not a lot. Just a drizzle. So you get that sweet and salty taste. And there you go, guys. Homemade chicken, chicken and waffle sliders. It's gonna taste so good. So if you enjoyed this video and like what you saw, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be the first one to know when Amateur Cooking Guy got a new video up, don't, um, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Until next time, bye.